10 Natural Remedies for Gout Relief 1. Bromelain How it can help Extracted from the pineapple core, bromelain is a protein-digesting enzyme that also possesses potent anti-inflammatory properties. As such, bromelain is able to relieve joint and tissue swelling as well as the intense pain of a gout attack. When taken regularly, bromelain can help prevent gout attacks. How to use Juice the core of the pineapple and add the juice to a smoothie. Take 500 to 2000 mg of bromelain per day in two divided doses. Start with a smaller dose and adjust based on your needs. Take about 90 minutes before your meals or 3 hours after eating unless you're taking it to improve your digestion. Note, bromelain can increase the risk of bleeding in individuals taking anticoagulant drugs. 2. Celery How it can help Celery contains over a dozen different types of antioxidants including the well-studied flavonoid apigenin. These antioxidants can help decrease uric acid levels in the body by blocking the inflammatory effects of xanthine oxidase enzymes which are responsible for converting DNA and RNA into uric acid. How to use I usually recommend taking celery in its whole form, in stews, curries, soups, with dips or as a juice, with the fiber retained. If you're feeling a bit adventurous, why not try a celery, lemon and parsley juice? Simply add 4 celery stalks, 2 peeled lemons and 1 handful of parsley to a blender containing some water. Blend thoroughly. Note, this is not a tasty juice but it is quite effective. You can also buy celery seed extract but make sure to buy a supplement that has the least amount of fillers in it. Start with 2 to 4 capsules per day and then gradually cut back as soon as the pain and inflammation subside. The maintenance dosage will vary between individuals so you will need to experiment a bit to determine what level works best for you. To increase your intake of apigenin, make sure to consume the following apigenin-rich foods on a regular basis, artichoke, basil, chamomile, cloves, coriander, lemon, lime, olives, onions, unless you're on a specific carbohydrate diet, oregano, rosemary and spinach. 3. Magnesium. How it can help. This mineral has been found to lower the frequency of acute attacks of gout. How to use, foods rich in magnesium include leafy greens, nuts, avocado, kefir and banana. If you choose to supplement, look for magnesium glycinate which is highly absorbable. Note, Epsom salt baths are another amazing way to boost your body's magnesium stores. 4. Milk thistle extract. How it can help. The milk thistle plant has been used traditionally to reduce uric acid production, the xylemurin it contains has an inhibitory effect on xanthine oxidase. How to use, the best way to get the full benefits of xylemurin is to take a supplement that is standardized to contain 70 to 80% of xylemurin 3 times a day, about 420 mg per day, during the acute phase and 240 mg per day to prevent future gout attacks. 5. Noni. How it can help. Research indicates that noni is able to reduce the activity of xanthine oxidase enzymes. How to use, about 6 ounces of organic noni juice. Choose cold processed, unpasteurized and unsweetened noni beverages. 6. Olive leaf. How it can help. Olive leaves and their extracts have long been used in the Mediterranean as folk remedies for arthritis. Now. Research shows that the compound olorapine in olive leaf can prevent uric acid from accumulating in the body by inhibiting xanthine oxidase. How to use If you're suffering from a flare-up, aim for 180 mg of olorapine, check the supplement label, per day divided into 3 to 5 doses. To prevent gout attacks, take 25 mg of olorapine 3 times per day. 7. Parsley How it can help Studies indicate that the antioxidants apigenin, chiamferol and quercetin in parsley are able to lower uric acid levels during hyperuricemia with fewer side effects than the drug allopurinol. These antioxidants also inhibit the activity of xanthine oxidase enzymes. Moreover, parsley also acts as a natural diuretic and can thus help the body flush out any excess uric acid in the urine. How to use You can either add some parsley to your green smoothies, soups or any meat-based dishes or you can make parsley tea. To do so simply add about a quarter cup of finely chopped parsley to 7 ounces of hot water, steep for 10 minutes, strain and enjoy. You can either discard the parsley or add it to your meals. 8. Stinging Nettle How it can help, nettle leaves contain various anti-inflammatory compounds and also exert a diuretic effect on the body. How to use, 
Add 1 tablespoon of dried nettle, or 1 cup of fresh leaves, to 2 cups of boiling water. Let steep for 30 minutes before sieving. The tea is quite bitter but I strongly advise against adding sweeteners. If you want, try adding some Ceylon cinnamon which also possesses anti-inflammatory properties. 9. Tarred Cherries How it can help? Tarred cherries are naturally rich in anthocyanins, one of nature's most potent antioxidant that can help alleviate inflammation. In fact, tart cherries have a much higher antioxidant content than their cousins, sweet cherries. Researchers have found that subjects who consume tart cherry juice for three weeks benefited from a significant reduction in levels of C-reactive protein which, as mentioned earlier, is a marker for inflammation. In another study, the risk of gout attacks dropped by 45% among subjects who consume tarred cherries for two days. How to use Aim to drink two 10.5 ounce bottles of tarred cherry juice for three weeks. Otherwise, eat about six ounces of cherries per day. However, don't eat this amount in one go. Instead add these little red gems to your salads, green smoothies and desserts. If you choose to supplement with tart cherry extract, take about 1000 mg one gram, of extract per day. Notes Since the cherry season is short, buy them in bulk and freeze them, you can keep them in the freezer for up to a year. Avoid canned cherries especially those packed in syrups and tons of chemicals. 10. Vitamin C How it can help, natural vitamin C is known to promote the excretion of uric acid. How to use, aim for at least 1 to 2 grams per day. I am not a fan of synthetic vitamins and strongly advise you can get your vitamin C from natural sources such as organic amla or kamikamu. Other potential natural anti-inflammatory remedies for gout include apple cider vinegar, turmeric, ginger root, dandelion, burdock, quercetin, skullcap, passion flower, chamomile, vitamin B6 and folate. I am eating a clean diet with lots of veggies and meat and no fructose whatsoever. Why do I still have gout flare-ups? There could be numerous reasons. 1. The animal protein you're eating may not be grass-fed, wild or free-range. Conventional meats are often loaded with antibiotics and hormones that can mess with your gut flora and promote inflammation. 2. You could be suffering from nutrient deficiencies, although a clean diet is typically rich in nutrients, if you have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or low stomach acid, your body may not be able to absorb the nutrients from your food even if you were eating the most nutritious foods out there. 3. You may be suffering from an underlying autoimmune condition which needs to be addressed. 4. The shoes you wear may promote poor circulation, 